We've been taking a look at one of the local organizations that's very active in uh, St. Clair, the Rotary Club of St. Clair. Joining us now is one of the past presidents, Mr. Hale Walker. And Hale, you've got a project that's uh, coming up, it's starting, uh, which is called uh, the Imagination Station Rebuild, right? You, we certainly do. What's it all about? Well, Paul, it's really very exciting because, you know, I have a unique opportunity working in Port Huron yep. and not necessarily spending all my time in St. Clair. In talking to business owners or government leaders, uh, philanthropy leaders, when they talk about the city of St. Clair, and when I say the city of St. Clair and the surrounding Town. townships, there's really sort of a special reverence and respect for the city of St. Clair. And, and when you think about it, and sometimes your viewers overlook it because we, we live right here. Correct. But with the assets that we have, with our beautiful waterway, and everybody knows what's happening right now with the St. Clair Inn, and there's so many good things that we, we have a responsibility to take care of those assets. Correct. And one of them is the Imagination Station. Wow. You know, I've talked to other Rotary Clubs not only in our area of St. Clair County, but outside the county. And very few have had the projects that have joined together the entire community the way in 1994 that project did. So to not take care of it would be a shame. And so with the uh, City Rec Department and Therese Hawkins, and her leadership, They've really identified what needs to be, what needs to happen to upgrade it. And there's a there's a few different issues. One happens to be that simply the rules and regulations for playgrounds over time has changed, and we need to take As that your, into consideration. The color of your hair. Thank you very much. Well, you're going to have that opportunity <laughs> because at some point we're going to show the film of what you put together in 1994. That's right. And let me tell you, my friend, there's been some changes on you also. <laughs> so, so, Paul, it, it becomes safety issues. And then I really regret not bringing an email that this week Therese got from an individual who's a husband and wife team who have been taking it upon themselves to make little repairs. Oh my God. When there's areas, maybe people are getting splinters, maybe you know bolts are coming loose, that type of thing. It was really awesome to see that. So that's really, um, with the leadership of Dan Lockwood, St. Clair Rotary president, and the team, we talked to the Rotary Club to be able to take them back in time, remember what we did in 1994, and to be able to step up and take a lead role. We're certainly gonna need a lot of help to be able to um, bring the Imagination Station where we'd like it. But You brought, a, it's a good segue to, to show the movie. You uh, mentioned the movie that was made in 1994 by uh, a Rotary, Rotary member, by Mr. Paul Lighty, and uh, we are gonna show that to you right now, and then we'll come back and talk more about uh, how the public can help. That'll let's, be great fun. Let's take a look at that right now. In the fall of 1993, the St. Clair Rotary Club approached several community groups about a very special project for the city of St. Clair. The project involved the construction of a playground for our area's children. The children would put their ideas into the design of the playground and volunteers of all ages would help build it. This is the story of how this dream became a reality. Tom. Tom Actis. Our cop. I guess my duty tonight is to introduce our general foreman and when I heard who, who had uh, volunteered, I. I was a little more delighted, and, and we should be more delighted with uh, Joe Rogers. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I just know that I need a minute. We get it resolved. It's just no resolving right now, so we're going to move on. Yeah. We're going to move on to the Children's Committee, and Karen Alley's going to. Come up here and talk a little bit about that. May not be a children's committee if we don't have Let's all think positive. Um, children's committee, if, if what you want is an update, we, we've had nothing but a positive response from the people that I've had help on, on the committees and um, from the kids that were involved. Um, 
Uh, we put together a bit between 75 and 80 children that are going to meet with um, the associate that comes to design. They will be at any school. Uh, they will meet for a couple, about an hour with him. They will be there to design them the mural. <laughs> Will. He came to us from New York and he is very involved in the designing of the Imagination Station that's going to be built in Great Park. And he needs your help and he's going to share information with you this morning. So I'm going to turn it right over to Dennis and let him carry on because I don't know exactly what he's going to do. I'm going to get also. Dennis? Thank you a lot. I'm a designer. How many people were buying a periscope on the playground? So you can start to peek around and see what else is going on. Okay, great idea. Okay. Slides about this time. Now, the slides are down. Okay. We better have more than one swing. I think that's a great idea. And what I need to do is collect ideas from all the kids. Let's hear some of those ideas. Custom, yeah. a playhouse. A playhouse, great idea. A pirate ship. Pirate ship, great idea too. An octopus. An octopus, what would the octopus, maybe an octopus next to the pirate ship? Sort of climbing up the side of the... Uh -huh. Maybe all the tentacles could be slides. Yeah. Like what we can um, have fun on. Okay. A oh, shark. A shark. Uh -huh. Okay. I would pick one of those um, things that you could jump up. There's like their little triangle and you jump on them and then they go back and forth. A zip wire? Yeah. How many of you would like a zip wire? <laughs> It's like a trolley, and there's a beam up above, yeah, and there's a track, and you slide from one end to the other by holding on to this little triangle. Have a lag tight. Those are the kind of things that can be forgotten about. The other, the other issue with uh, Friends of the Playground is the source of labor. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I understand that you have a large uh, DVW. All right. All eight of them. Right. Well, <laughs> eight people is not enough to get the new ground cover into the playground. You need a source of labor. It's also, they have other jobs. You know, if there's something else going on, the ground cover is delivered, you got to get it in there. Mm -hmm. They've got some other emergency to deal with. What do you do? You have a Friends of the Playground Committee. Now, that can, they can function, all you need is a committee. They don't have to do the labor. They can, they can recruit the Lions Club, the Rotary Club, the uh, Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts, high school service organizations. There's a lot of different ways that can be structured. You just want to have one in place. You want to have some independent group that's not tied to anything else, mm -hmm. to, to, to any other city function perhaps, that can assume some responsibility for maybe not inspection, but maintenance and provide labor. Sealing the playground is one, one important area. You can seal the playground with and what are they going to come off of the transformer right there? So we're going to trench I put the pole and the meter right next to the transformer. Okay. Let, well, let Russell then bring the temporary down here. Uh-huh. It's just a matter of, uh, you, want it, you want it fairly close to the site, but you want it close enough to here that you're, just, you're not using up all your electrical. Your, your, uh, Let's say that we're going to put it right in here. Extension ports together. <laughs>
of volunteers took time off work and school to help build a 10,000 square foot playscape in St. Clair. Many hands made for light work as the project was completed in just five days. The Imagination Station has swings, slides, and climbing towers, and was designed in part by St. Clair area kids. Headline News Local Edition reporter Paul Miller has more. In the movie Field of Dreams, the catchphrase was, if you build it, they will come. Well, in St. Clair over the weekend, it was, if they come, they will build it. And they did. An entire elaborate playground built entirely by volunteers in the span of just a few days. It's interesting. We've got the kids. We've got retirees. We've got people who have taken vacation days, days off uh, from their, their normal jobs. And the turnout's been great. You'll see somebody that you'll know from your own place of employment. They come at lunchtime, changed into their, their work clothes. So it's going neat. And you, you find things you never knew you could do before. We're either all crazy or we're all dedicated to our kids and grandkids. And um, I've got a four-year-old grandkid, and this is a marvelous concept for her to be able to enjoy. And that's, I think, why. And it's also bringing the whole community from both the township and we've got people from Richmond, Romeo, relatives and friends. And um, it really is a lot of fun. And it's a lot of fun to work with different people. Because we're all crazy about children. And we all want to be out here and get this playground built for our kids because we love them. And for the place, everybody says there should be a place for children to go. Well, now there will be. Right from the beginning, people were very enthusiastic saying, what can I do? I mean, people were calling us and saying, what could I do, what kind of food can I make, what kind of, you know, when can I be there, it's just wonderful. A big, big help has been the high school students. They have been here promptly 8 o'clock every morning, and they are doing the back-breaking work. They are carrying the cement and the gravel and the, and the fiber. They are moving it. I would say that 70% uh, of the people have no major experience in doing it, at least. Well, they seem to enjoy the camaraderie of working together in a community. Oh my goodness, some of the ladies are like, I can go home and use my husband's router, router. <laughs> so they're all excited. They can come in the second, third day and say, well, now I'm skilled. You can put skilled on my tag. I think people that have never used a router are in there using a router, and people that have never used a circular saw are doing that, and it's great. The elaborate playground at Greg Park, an entire volunteer effort, which started with the Rotary Club in St. Clair, but quickly spread to other parts of the community. Funds were raised and the playground built entirely by volunteers. At Greg Park in St. Clair, I'm Paul Miller, Headline News, Local Edition.
letting your parents ask us to build the playground. I have to thank you all so much. You'll come out here in rain and shine, in night and cold, and build this playground for the kids. I can't thank you enough. What a phenomenal movie. I love the music. Didn't you like the music? Oh, it was terrific. <laughs> <laughs> but it really told the story of how the community got together. You know, one of the things that I didn't expect when we presented this at Rotary was the emotion. What I expected was concerns about spending the money, how we're going to raise the money, how are we going to get people to physically get involved. But I will tell you, Paul, and, and I say that because I know you were there, it almost brought people to tears when they saw the film and you saw someone like Karen Alley, yep. who was a young, new teacher who was very involved, getting her students' input on what we needed and getting people physically involved. Karen today is now her son that was in it, is now my son-in-law. He has four children and their children are playing on that playground. Um, then you heard Rob Gunn mm -hmm. talk, and, and Rob, who led it, talked about stories of getting his father involved who, who wouldn't leave. Right. So I think we have another opportunity just to be a lot of fun, getting people together and uh, with that common goal of taking care of our assets, I think is tremendous. So the Rotary Club of St. Clair is kicking off this project uh, this spring, and it will be wanting to have participation from from the, pu from the public, how are they going to reach you? How are they going to contact you? Well, you can contact either myself. You can get a hold of me anytime on my cell phone, which is 810-434-7598. You can contact St. Clair Rotary, or you can also get a hold of Paul Dingleman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's on listed number, but he'll <laughs> uh, Yeah, we, we will put that up, and uh, we'll uh, continue to have you come back uh, throughout the summer and uh, when is the build or the rebuild hope to be completed? 
So it, it's, a, it's a big project. So right. really what the plan is to take ourselves back to exactly the type of organization that was done at the beginning. We want to go back into the schools and get input. If we have to replace certain standalone segments mm -hmm. of the playground, what is it today that somebody's going to be interested in? So we need feedback from parents. We need feedback from grandparents, children. You know, and the other thing I would say, Paul, is there are viewers that are watching this right now who think that this doesn't pertain to them because maybe they don't have the wherewithal to give financially. And I would argue that we need everybody to get involved, no matter what the situation is, because you can spend a little time. You can help people, right. give them water, yeah. feed them, or drive a nail. Okay. Hale Walker, we'll Thank have you. you back and talk more about the uh, refurbish refurbery of, uh, I can't the say rebuild, it. that's okay. Thank you. Rebuild is a heck of a lot easier <laughs> for me to say at my age with my, with my hair falling out, too. That's the uh, look, brief look with Hale Walker at what's going on at the Imagination Station. We'll give you more updates throughout the summer. Thanks for watching Focus with Paul Dingaman. Focus is produced at the CTV Community Television Studios in St. Clair. For over 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter to our community.